Sometimes I wonder, man, what if things in life were so much simpler? Imagine being able to have a conversation with someone on a regular basis and actually have meaningful conversations with them and not only have them happen to pop in to ask for so-called favor. You know what would even be better? If these females could not be such bitches. Some of these girls really be shape-shifting masters of darkness. Shout out to Okudo. He raised his daughter as well. Why is it that 8 out of 10 girls have supreme bitch tendencies? Why? Like, why? Does it extend their lifespan or something? I am genuinely curious. Is there some entity that raises their lifespan whenever they perform their ancient art of bitchiness? The real question is who's in charge of the rules of this very sacred cult? Don't get me wrong or anything, there's a lot of cool girls, so shout out to the ones who hold it down. But that's not what you click this video for. You want to hear about the urban legend to hear about the great bitch stories. There are different breeds of bitches. There are also different levels of bitchiness but sometimes it appears as though the magical creature that is the bitch is able to ascend to the highest level within a mere few seconds. Scientists have failed time and time again to find the answer to the cause of this phenomenon but I feel as though I have found that answer. No no no, the root of the problem is not due to one reason. There are many, many factors that result in this transformation. For one, the creature's environment plays quite a significant role in causing this transformation to occur. Also, the phenomenon named Daddy Issues has a vital role in this dilemma as well. Let me tell you about a true life story. There was this girl by the name of Alexa. On the surface, she seemed like a normal decent human being, but little did I know that once she was confronted with the stone cold truth, Alexa transformed into pure evil. She reached the highest level of bitchiness known to man. Alexa and I talk on occasion, but for the most part, she's somewhere lurking dudes DMs, trying to get them to fight her cousin or something like that, I think. Yeah, I'm 100% sure. One symptom includes the inability to handle the truth as mentioned earlier, another being the fact that they get emotional over the fact that you can see through their facade. And then they start sending long messages like this. Does anyone still remember the cartoon that aired a long time ago called The Mask? It was really long ago, but anyways, basically all breeds of bitches wear masks. Some pretend to be nice, some pretend to care, and as for the rest, well their masks happen to be worn out so they end up being unstable little cunts for the most part. What really annoys me is when they try and flip the switch. This is other girl, I'll call her Jessica. Jessica, like most people where I stay, use this app called WhatsApp. On this app, you can post updates like on Instagram. But on Instagram, once you select who can view it, you'll be able to see who viewed it. On WhatsApp, you can disable blue ticks. Blue ticks basically is the equivalent of the scene, text, and Instagram DMs. So if you disable those on the app and you view other people's statuses, they won't know if you saw it or not. Does that not seem annoying? Like someone could potentially be stalking you every single day, but you'll never know. At the same time, these people, if you message them, you won't know if they saw your message or not because their ticks won't go blue. I have like seven contacts who do this. Once I asked one of them why she does this, she said to ignore people she doesn't like. Really nigga? Like really nigga? There's a block button featured on the app and how about this? You do know there's a delete contact button as well, so what the actual fuck? That's being a bitch in my opinion. I know what some of you are thinking, well she doesn't want to be rude and delete the person's number. Well you listen to me, I would rather much prefer we don't have each other's number instead of you basically doing everything else you can to imply I'm of little importance to you. No lie though, these are the same females who blow up your phone when they want something. Let me even put a picture on the screen. The next symptom I've discovered is the great screenshot virus. That one is self-explanatory. One of the most contagious symptoms that they spread to one another is known as the icon plague. One female who already has bitch tendencies will slowly spread this plague to the rest of the clan. She'll begin to praise icons such as Cardi B wildly to the extent that all her captions end up being about one of her queen bitch icons. It's a sad, sad story, but at the end of the day, there's a little one can do to stop this deadly disease. You know, if you were to ask me, I'd say this one one solution for this death yep death by electric chair if you are a friend know someone experiencing bitch tendencies sms 31314 to save a life that is all that's all for now this is the end of part one if you guys want part two give this video to at least 1500 likes and part two shall be on its way to your screen very shortly if you guys are able to do what i am kindly asking of you until next time stay awesome peace